So last but not least here, guys, we've actually got the tomatoes behind me. And it's been a bit of a struggle to actually get uh, a view of these tomatoes because they're so dense back here. I am telling you, I'm growing so much food in a very small space and it's so challenging how everything is just so dense to actually film this. I don't know if anyone else has ever had that problem, but people talk about density all the time and how they're growing a lot of food in a small space. My corn plant uh, planting here is 10 foot wide by seven foot long and it is just like covered in food, top to bottom. And then behind me, which I've really only given myself a very small walkway to walk in here, is my tomatoes. And there are just clusters and clusters of tomatoes. I'm gonna pull off some of these guys. We've got some orange banana, which makes legitimately the best sauce. It's an orange paste tomato that's so, so good. You guys would not believe how good an orange paste tomato could be. But I love this variety. We also have the best tasting tomato in the form of a pink brandy wine. And these big beefsteak tomatoes that people claim are very difficult to grow, you don't get a whole lot of production off of. It's the opposite for me. These guys do so well for me. They taste incredible. There's nothing that can replace, in my opinion, this tomato. And believe it or not, you can make sauce out of these. It's really quite good. And I've got, <clears throat> across the board on all these plants, clusters and clusters of these tomatoes. And we've also got unusually large black cherry tomatoes. These guys are so, so good. If you guys like sun gold, you don't even know what you're missing. Because I'm telling you, these taste like a beefsteak tomato. They have that texture that amazing flesh of a beefsteak with the same amazing cherry tomato flavor. They're even a little smoky. They're so, so good. I wanna thank you guys here for watching this one. This is our little tomato harvest for today. We're gonna to keep coming back at you guys with more videos and talk about these amazing tomatoes and all these amazing vegetables. If you enjoyed this one, please check out our other videos on the other vegetables we've been growing, our last update, how we planted the corn. Keep, you know, stay tuned to all these tomato videos too because more of these are gonna keep coming out. We're gonna put some information out on the melons. We'll see you guys soon. I hope you guys started a summer garden. If not, plant that fall garden, all right? <laughs>